God is good. All the time. Ah, did you borrow your voice? I know you are not happy because my men left. But at least, God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. We thank the Lord God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. This is another day the Lord God has made. Amen. We need to be glad and rejoice Amen. in it. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. And today is the last day of our long journey. 21 days, hallelujah. Amen. Some they really lost weight, and some they gained weight, hallelujah. Amen. But to the glory of God. Amen. So, all those of you that were connecting, were praying, the Lord God remember you, hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, let go in Judges chapter 3. Thank you, Jesus. The book of Judges chapter 3. And today we'll be praying on, uh, uh, we're going to emphasize more on the uh, family, uh, family issues. So children of God, the book of Judges, Judges chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 7 to 8. 7 to 8. Are you there? Now, clear your throat. We have some uh, uh, good names that you're going to read. Hallelujah. Now, look what the Bible says here. And the children of Israel did what? Evil. Did what? Evil. In the sight of the Lord. And did what? Forgot the Lord their God. Hallelujah. Amen. They did evil in the sight of God. They forgot about the Lord, their God. Hallelujah. Amen. And the message of today, remember the Lord, your God. Hallelujah. Amen. Say with me, remember, remember the Lord, God. your God. Hallelujah. Remember. How many of us remember God? How many of us remember God? You do remember God? Uh -huh. We will see. <laughs> children of God. Look what the Bible says here. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and forgot the Lord their God. And they did what? They served. They served. Uh, Balaam. <laughs> Balaam. And the uh, groves. Therefore, look now the result. Because they forgot the Lord God. And they start now worshiping another God. Now look what happened. Therefore, the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And God sold them unto the hand of... Go ahead, hallelujah. Unto the hand of... Read it as if it's your dream land, your dream country. Hallelujah. You just received the visa to go there. Yes, you see, that's why when the time I come with names like Sean Paul, no, no, you guys are saying, Pastor, why did you get that name? You know, when I was in Berlin, my sister Dora, she used to play a lot of gospel, so teaching, so she would put the tape and then listen to it. But I was not a... a, a, a uh, a, a person who was listening to the message or doing God things, no. So anytime I pass by, I just hear the message. I was not really into it. Then I will hear some no. So that's the only thing that captured me. And since that day, that the name that I just bring, hallelujah. <laughs> Children of God, look here. He said what? He said, and God sold them into the hand of <laughs> King of Mesopotamia and the children of Israel serve. No, 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 I didn't see the king here. Read your Bible, hallelujah. Serve. Okay, for how long? Eight years, hallelujah. Now, children of God, here they forgot 
God. Hallelujah. And now, when they forgot God, you have to understand, in this life, there is no vacuum. Hallelujah. There is no emptiness. Either you serve God or you don't serve God. When they stopped serving God, they began to serve another God. Hallelujah. And this brought wrath from God. And God was upset. And now here, God sold them into other king. And they served the other king for how many years? Eight years. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, the opposite of forgetting is what? Remembering. Hallelujah. The opposite of forgetting is what? Remembering. That's why today I'm telling you, remember the Lord God. Remember the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, children of God, I want you to let you, I want you to understand. No one's prosper under God. Anger. Hallelujah. Amen. No one prosper. No one prosper. Now look here, 1 Samuel 12. 1 Samuel 12. 1 Samuel 12. 6 to 9. 1 Samuel 12. 6 to 9. Are you there? If you are there, say amen. amen. Look what the Bible says here. And Samuel said unto the people, it is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. Hallelujah. Amen. He's telling people, can nobody fool you? It's the Lord God who advanced Moses and Aaron. And, and that brought your fathers up out of the land of Egypt. Now therefore, stand still. That are my reason with you before the Lord of all the righteous acts of the Lord, which he did to you and to your fathers. When Jacob was come into Egypt, and your fathers cried unto the Lord, then the Lord sent Moses and Aaron, which brought forth your fathers out of Egypt and made them dwell in this place. Verse 9. And when they did what? And when they and when they read it. Hallelujah. He said, and when they forgot the Lord they the Lord they now look what happened to them. When they forgot, here Samuel the prophet is reminding them. Now Samuel here is reminding them. Hallelujah! He said, "Yo, you look at you. It's not that Moses or Aaron they advanced by themselves. It was by the power of God. God took them out of Egypt." When your grandfather Jacob, when Joseph went into Egypt, and Jacob followed with all the children, they went into Egypt and they cried to God. God sent Moses and Aaron and delivered them. And God made them dwell in this place. Hallelujah. If you are in this place, it's not by your doing, it's by the power of Almighty God. Always remember that. Remember that. It's not by your strength. You remember that. Amen. You were slave and God brought you here. And you dwell here. But they forgot about this God. Now look what happened here. The Bible says what? And when they forgot the Lord their God, God did what? He sold them into the hand of whom? Yeah. Captain of the host of and into the hand of the Philistine and into the hand of the king of Moab and they fought against them. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, they forgot about the Lord God. Always consequences when you forget the Lord God. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're going to see in a minute, we are the generation that forget the Lord God. Hallelujah. Amen. We forget about him. I remember one time my sister, she took me to church. She's the one who always brings me to churches and churches. So we went to one church and uh, they were singing, I will never, never forget Jesus. I will never. Then you see people dancing. Some of the things they did not learn. I will never, never forget Jesus. I will never. All of us who were singing. And suddenly, 
Somebody starts speaking in another tongue. Then I was just like this. I was new. I was just here. But I heard somebody. And after that interpretation, and the voice was saying, you are singing. I will never, never forget. But you forgot about me. Your action, your deed, your word shows that you forgot about me. When they put again that song, who does it? When they put it, who does it? Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, look here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Now, look here. Jeremiah 23. GG. Jeremiah 23. And we're going to read verse uh, 27. Jeremiah 23. 23, verse 27. Are you there? Look what the Bible says here. Which thing to cause my people to forget my... Which thing to cause my people to forget my... But the dreams which they tell every man to his neighbor, as the fathers have forgotten my name for... I have forgotten my name for Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God. Anyone, anyone who forgets the Lord will automatically serve another God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you, you forget the Lord, you will serve another God. You will serve an idol. Hallelujah. Amen. That idol can be your children. That idol can be your wife. It can be your husband. It can be your it can be wherever. It can be money. Hallelujah. Any single thing you put first before the Lord God is your idol. Hallelujah. Amen. When you forget the Lord God, you will be serving something else. You will be serving something else. Hallelujah. Amen. And there is consequences when you forget the Lord God. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you remember God? Do you remember God? Really, really remember God? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, remember God. Nobody prosper under God. And now I'm going to give you, we're going to share some of the things to help you remember God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, some of us, we say that we remember God. How can you tell me that, how you remember God? Do you guys remember me? No? Sometimes? Yeah, the same thing. I don't remember you too. Hallelujah. Now, children of God, do you remember God? How you remember God? Hmm? Your way of living. Your way of living shows that you remember God. Okay. Now, children of God, we're going to see here. Number one. We just read that they forgot God. Hallelujah. And God sold them. They were defeated. They were destroyed. Now, children of God, how you remember the Lord God? Say with me. Remember to live for God. Remember to live for God. And make his kingdom your primary concern. Hallelujah. Children of God, remember to live for God. You are living for him. Hallelujah. You are not living for yourself. You are not living for your husband, for your wife. But no, you are living for him. In him we live. In him we move. In him we have our being. Hallelujah. We are, he's the reason of our living. He's the reason why we are breathing. He's the reason why we are here today. So you are living for him. Hallelujah. Amen. Look what the Bible says here. Matthew 6.33. Matthew 6.33. What the Bible says here. Matthew 6.33. Are you there? He said what? But seek ye first. But seek ye first. Did he say fufu? No. 
He said, did he say? He said what? But seek ye first the kingdom of the kingdom of and is and all these things shall be added unto shall be added unto children of God. Every single thing will pass away except the kingdom of God. You invest for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You are living for the Lord God. And you invest in his kingdom. Hallelujah. And children of God, this is what we need to understand. When you are living, you are living for God. And every day of your life, do something for the kingdom of God. Also work for the expansion of the kingdom of God. It's your responsibility. It's your duty to do what? To evangelize. Hallelujah. To preach the gospel. Don't say I'm not a pastor. You can preach a gospel to anyone. In the bus, in the train, in your car, everywhere you find yourself. Speak about Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. What is the last time you invite somebody to church? What is the last time that you share even the link for somebody to connect? You know, some of us, we have excuse. Pastor, it's Corona time. Even after, before Corona, you didn't do nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, work for the kingdom of God. Work for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That what going to be judged. Your works. Hallelujah. Work for the expression of the kingdom of God. And this show that you remember the Lord God. And this show you did not forget about the Lord God. Hallelujah. And how you serve the Lord God. How you work for the kingdom. You need to be born again. Because the Bible says if you are not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God, you need to know the word of God. You live by the word of God. You live by the standard of Almighty God. And this show that you remember the Lord God. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are working for him. When you are working for him. You live for God. Hallelujah. Amen. Say with me. I live for the Lord. I live for the Lord. And I must make his kingdom my primary concern. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Forget about your marriage. Forget about your life. Forget about everything. Number one, his kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. His kingdom. Don't forget, we have been created to show forth praise unto him. Hallelujah. This is our duty to praise him, to exalt him, to sing unto him. Hallelujah. So children of God, you are living for the Lord God. Now let us look at our life. Do we really live for God? Is the kingdom of God our primary concern right now? Hallelujah. Each of us can answer to that question. Hallelujah. What is your primary concern? Is it a job? Hallelujah. Some, some of the primary concern was to see my man out of the White House. Hallelujah. And now he's out. Uh -huh. So what is next? What do you just have? And next, what is next? Nothing. And the one that you want, he will pass away to. Hallelujah. <laughs> Only one. Nobody vote him in and nobody will vote him out. He's the king of kings forever. And his kingdom is forever. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. That one, you don't need stimulus package with him. Hallelujah. In his presence, you have everything. He provides unto you. He protects you. He defends you. He restores you. He elevates you. He loves you more than anything. Yeah. That's the one you need in your life. Yeah. Who died on the cross for you. He came down, born in the manger, and died on the cross so that you might have eternal life. So that you can be with him 24-7 for eternity. That the God you should remember. Amen. That the God you should remember. And you should live for him. Make the kingdom of God your primary concern. Amen. But may you say this here. Let me invite people to church. Let me ask people to connect. Let me do this. Hallelujah. Amen. You know sometimes we connect. And I always receive the report after we connect. I was surprised. I saw a name, a Mexican name, La like Carlos something. I was surprised. Ah, Carlos, who is that Carlos? I don't know. But I don't know who uh, asked the person to connect. Hallelujah. Children of God, you know the person? 
Yeah. From Pennsylvania. So, children of God, work for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. When you serve the need of God, God will serve your need. Hallelujah. Amen. Stop being only me, 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 me. You will die with me. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember the Lord your God. Say with me. Remember the Lord your God. In 2021, remember the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember him. Amen. Remember him. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember him. Amen. He is your God. He is your father. That's why you are still living. That's why you have strength. That's why you are in good health. Remember him. Hallelujah. Amen. Your father, remember him. Children of God. Number two, don't forget the covenant of the Lord. Don't forget the covenant of the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't forget the covenant of the Lord. Don't forget the covenant of the Lord. Now, children of God, God cut and keep his covenant. He made covenant with people. Hallelujah. And he made covenant with you too. Look what the Bible is telling you here. Judges. Judges too. One, the B part. Judges too. God is good all the time. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Judges chapter 2, verse 1. We're going to read the, the, yeah, the whole thing, but the B part, that one we are interested in. He said, What? And an angel of the. And an angel of the. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, children of God. Who is the angel of the Lord? Jesus. Who is the angel of the Lord? Jesus. It's Jesus. Hallelujah. He appeared as an angel in the Old Testament. Now, angel, they are messenger. Hallelujah. When a messenger comes to you, when he speaks to you, he speaks as a third person. God say, God say, hallelujah. But when you hear the angel of the Lord, that angel will never say God say. He will speak as God. Hallelujah. Because he's God. Now, look what the Bible says here. And an angel of the Lord came up from, from, to where? <laughs> and said, I made you to go up, out of, I made you, hallelujah. He said, I made you to go out, out of Egypt, and I have brought you in the land which I swear unto your fathers, and I said, I will never, hallelujah, Amen. I will never, 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 never break my covenant with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Never. I will never, never break my covenant with you. This is the God that you are serving. This is the God that you should remember. Hallelujah. Amen. When he says something unto you, when he releases his word, when he prophesies unto you, when he releases the covenant, it shall never be broken. Hallelujah. Amen. Unless you break it. But God, we never break his covenant. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say with me, don't forget the covenant of the Lord. Don't forget the covenant of the Lord. Hallelujah. And children of God, we have covenant today. And look what the Bible is saying here. Hebrews 7.22. Hebrews 7.22. Hebrews 7.22. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now, children of God, for those of you who have been praying, did you receive something from the Lord God? In this 21 days, did you receive something from the Lord God? I cannot hear you. Did you receive something from the Lord God? He spoke out to you. Some directly, hallelujah. Some maybe when I was preaching. Some maybe in your dream, hallelujah. Some in your message. Children of God, wherever you receive from him, you just believe it, hallelujah. You did not imagine, you did not think about it. It came from him and he will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember that. Always remember that. Hallelujah. Amen. Look what the Bible says here. I say what? Hebrew 7, 22. To use my best English, 22. He said what? By so much was Jesus made what? A surety of a bearer testament of a better covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. God had a covenant with whom? He had a covenant with Abraham. Hallelujah. A 
And this is his covenanted name, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, and the God of Isaac. Hallelujah. Amen. And children of God, he said that was past, but now you have a better covenant. And who is the keeper? Who is the mediator of that covenant? He is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. He shed his blood for that covenant to come into power. Hallelujah. He said the bearer of surety, a surety of a better testament. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, children of God, I always say this. When this, the uh, testament is there, the will, if the father who wrote the will is sick, he just had an accident, he's a billionaire. Billionaire with B, hallelujah. And you know your dad is a billionaire, hallelujah. And you didn't even do good at school. You just wait for him to die. Then you hear he had an accident. He said, ah, finally, thank God, you are taking this old man so I can inherit. Now, when they go to the hospital, your father is in coma. Is the will going to pass to you? No. He's in coma. He doesn't even remember anything. Is the will going to pass to you? Unless he, yeah. only when he dies, then the testament is released. is released. Hallelujah. So God also has a testament, yes or no? Yeah. He has to die for it to come to pass, yes or no? Yes. The devil also has a, a testament, yes or no? Yeah. He has it, hallelujah. You shall be barren, you shall be broke, you shall be, that is testament, hallelujah. Now, I check my Bible, nowhere. I see that Lucy died. Hallelujah. No way. And if you want to die, God will make sure he died. die. Hallelujah. He will be destroyed in the lake of fire. But God did die. Children of God, this one is better. Look here. Hebrew 8, 6. Hebrew 8, 6. Oh, Jesus. Glory to God. Look here. Hebrew 8, 6. The Bible says what? But now had he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, remember the covenant of the Lord God. Amen. Remember the word of the Lord God. If I be for you, who can be against you? In me, you are more than a conqueror. In me, you cannot fail. In me, I will always going to cause you to triumph in every area of your life. You just remember that covenant. Amen. You just remember that covenant. Amen. I will make you the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. Amen. You are blessed in, you are blessed out. You just remember the covenant of the Lord God. Amen. Remember the Lord God. Remember the Lord your God, hallelujah. Amen. You remember him when you live for him. You remember him when you make his kingdom your primary concern. And you remember him when you don't forget the covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, remember, remember, First Chronicles 16, 16, 15. First Chronicles. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Are you blessed? Amen. Did you forget about the Lord? Did you forget about Him? Maybe you forgot about Him. Now we start coming. Hallelujah. First Chronicles 16. Are you there? I gave you the verse already. 16, 15. Hallelujah. Look what the Bible says here. Be ye mindful always of His be ye mindful only on Monday. Be ye how mindful how always of what the word which he commanded to a thousand to a thousand children of God. If you forget the covenant, for surely you will break it. Hallelujah! Amen. Because you forgot about it, and that's why you will break it. Hallelujah. Amen. So children of God, look here, Deuteronomy 31. Deuteronomy 31. That's why you don't have to forget 
The covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. What did the Lord God told you? What did the Lord God told you? Some of us, God spoke to us so many things, but you forgot about them. And here you are, you broke the covenant. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Children of God, uh, the book, what, what did I say? 31. And we're going to read verse 20 to 21. 20 to 21. Are you there? For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swear unto their fathers, that floweth with what? Milk. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Some of you, 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 you even took it this morning. Milk and what? Honey. And they shall have eaten and fill themselves and what said fat. Hallelujah. Then will they turn unto others and serve and do what? And do what? And let on that we do what? Hallelujah. See what God is saying. You are crying. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, me, America. Only America. Only where honey and milk flow. Hallelujah. Here you are, you are in this country. Stimulus after stimulus. You are getting fat. Hallelujah. The seat, even the airplane, you only take three seats. Hallelujah. Because you are too fat. Now, children of God, you forgot about the Lord God who brought you here. You forgot about the good things of the Lord God. And here you are, you are breaking the covenant of God. He said, because what? They act, they are full, and they turn to others, God, children of God. Remember how you used to pray back home. Here we are. Oh, this is America. I got a work all the time. I need to buy that Dolph Gabbana. I need to buy Louis Vuitton. I need to buy Pierre Cardet. I need to buy this. And children, that, that's your life. Children of God. God is saying here, they provoke me and break my covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. Say with me, remember the covenant of the Lord. Amen. Remember the covenant of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number three, how you remember the Lord God? Number one, we say what? How you remember the name of the Lord God? Number one. Amen. Number two. Number three, don't forget, say with me, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Don't forget. the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't forget the name of the Lord. Don't forget it. Look what the Bible says here. Psalm 20. Psalm 20. Psalm 20. 7 to 8. Psalm 27 to 8. Look what the Bible says here. Ha. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we, we will remember the, we will remember the, of the, our, hallelujah. Some trust in money, some trust in the White House. Some trust in connection. Some trust in the beauty. Some trust in the strength. But me, I will remember the name of the Lord my God. Hallelujah. Amen. They are brought down. They that remember. They that put. They that put the trust in the chariot. They that put the trust in people. They are brought down. And they are fallen. But they that put the trust in the name of the Lord God, they have risen and stand up right. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, wherever you put your trust in something, you're going to be brought down. Hallelujah. Amen. He said they are brought down and fallen. But we are how? We are how? Verse 8, we are how? It's not there. So you did not read verse 8. 
Yeah. You read it? Yeah, read it. It said, they are brought down and fallen. But we are how? Risen. And stand. Upright. We are how? Risen. And stand. Upright. Why we are risen and stand upright? Because we remember the name of the Lord. Our God. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember the name of the Lord. Amen. Don't forget about the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't forget about the Remember the name of the Remember the name of the Children of God. The name is as the person. If you call this name is me. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not her, it's me. So the name and the person is one. Hallelujah. Amen. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. God and his word, they are one. Hallelujah. Amen. You and your name, you are one. When you call the name, it means that you call the person. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't, don't forget the name of the Lord. Remember the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's why he is telling you here. Oh. Zephaniah 312. Zephaniah. Some say, eh? Is it the Bible? <laughs> Hallelujah. Zephaniah. Nice name, eh? This one goes with women or men? Zephaniah. Men. Hmm? Anyway, this day we don't even know who is real, who is he, who is she, she is he, hallelujah. I keep seeing a lot of he and she on TV now. Mm -hmm. So let me introduce my spouse. Ah, my wife. I thought I'm going to see somebody with long hair, but he's a man to him. Oh, no, her mercy. Sodom and Gomorrah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now look what the Bible says here. Zephaniah 3.12. Zephaniah 3.12. Are you there? Amen. I will also live in the midst of I will also live in the midst of and afflicted and poor and they shall trust in the name of the they shall trust in the name of the children of God. Don't forget the Lord God. How you don't forget the Lord God? By you remembering God. And how you remember God? You remember the name of the Lord. Remember the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In every situation you find yourself, remember the name of the Lord. Look what the Bible says here. John 14. John 14. 13 to 14. John 14. John 14, 13 to 14. Are you there? Amen. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my, Amen. in my, Amen. you put your trust in my, Amen. you put your trust in the name of the, Lord. and now the Lord is telling you, here, he said, whatsoever, hallelujah, Amen. children of God, the job is in the whatsoever. No. Marriage is in the whatsoever. Yes. Dream job in the whatsoever. Yes. Having children is in the whatsoever. Yes. Your promotion is in the whatsoever. Yes. Your deliverance is in the whatsoever. Yes. Whatsoever ye shall ask in my yes. that I will do what? I will do that the Father might be how glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything anything. What is left out of anything? Nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. If God shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Hallelujah. Amen. Trust the name of the Lord. Remember the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us, even in our sleep, we remember the name. When we are under attack, hallelujah, when they choke you at night, what is the name that comes? Do you scream Shekonono? No. When they attack you at night, do you scream Nebuchadnezzar? No. Or do you scream Pastor Shesne? No. What comes out of your mouth? Jesus. Eh? Jesus. Eh? Jesus. Even, 
even someone is by your side, you don't even say, Sammy. You, what do you say? Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be jealous of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's the one they call. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if you call him, ah, you do. Let me sleep. So, children of God, this is what the Bible is telling you. Hallelujah. Amen. Ask in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The same Bible, John 15, 16. John 15, 16. John 15, 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you, that ye should go and bring forth what? Fruit. And that fruit shall do what? Remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he might give it you. Hallelujah. Amen. You trust the name of the Lord. Amen. You trust the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say with me, trust in the name of the Lord. Trust in the name of the Lord. And don't misuse his name. Because he come with punishment. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't misuse his name. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, children of God. Oh, children of God. Remember the name of the Lord. Remember the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Look what the Bible says here. Psalm 116. These are the scriptures that you should meditate. Psalm 116. Psalm 116. Verse 12 to 13. Psalm 116. 12 to 13. Are you, are you there? Amen. What shall I handle unto the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. You don't know that song? I know it's the way I sing like an angel. You got bones. Hallelujah. I know it. Hallelujah. I know. Look what the Bible says here. He said what? He said, What shall I render unto the Lord? For all is taught. What can I give to God? For all the benefit told me. Hallelujah. Amen. And then he said what? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. And call upon the name of the Lord. And call upon the name of the Lord. You call upon the name of the Lord God. Hallelujah. Amen. For whatever situation, you call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because Romans 10, 13. Romans 10, 13. Say with me. Say to your neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. When they come, they say, I'm going through this. Before they finish, call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Call upon his name. Amen. Call upon his name. You might call Pastor Jesus I'm going to put you on hold. Hallelujah. And I say, I'm busy, I'm talking to God. Meanwhile, I'm eating my food for hallelujah. But when you call the Lord God, he will never put you on hold, hallelujah. Amen. You call him, he's a direct land. He answers you, he show you great and mighty things. Look what the Bible says here. Romans 10, 13. Are you there? Amen. Uh, are you there? Amen. He said what? For whatsoever, for whosoever. Are you in the whosoever? Yes. Are you in the whosoever? He said what? For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be how? Shall be how? When you call upon the name of Jesus, you shall be how? Your marriage shall be how? Your family shall be how? Your ministry shall be how? Your loved ones shall be how? Say, because there is no other name except the name of Jesus through which we shall be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember that name. Amen. Remember that name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't remember those names like sweetheart, pokey, pokey. Those are just uh, rubbish. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember the name. Hallelujah. Amen. The name. Jesus. Amen. Remember the name. Oh God. Remember the name. Hallelujah. Amen. Say remember the name. Remember the name. Remember the name. Oh, 
thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Look here. Uh, Psalm 116. Psalm 116. Psalm 116, verse 3 to 4. Psalm 116, 3 to 4. Are you there? If you are there, say amen. Amen. You see what? The sorrows of the sorrow of the sorrow of Corona compass and the pain of hell got hold upon I found trouble and I found trouble and is it the time to cry? Is it the time to throw a pity party? What he say? Then I did what? I called then call I upon the name of the oh, oh. I beseech Jesus. deliver my oh. hallelujah Amen. children of God it doesn't matter the situation you find yourself in you have one name to call is the name of the Lord hallelujah Amen. remember that name Amen. remember that name Amen. remember it Amen. children of God that the name that gave David victory. You come to me with, you come to me here with what? He said to Goliath, he said, you come to me with a sword, with a spear, with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. I come to you in the name. Remember the name. Hallelujah. Say with me, remember the name. Remember the name. Remember the name. Psalm 118. Psalm 118. Verse 10 to 12. Psalm 118. 10 to 12. Are you there? Why I emphasize on this? So that you know. You call the name. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 118. 10 to 12. Are you there? Amen. All nations compass me about. But in the name of the... In the name of the, he said, all the people, they surround me, the enemy, they surround me. But hear the confidence. He said what? But in the name of the Lord, I will do what? I will do what? I cannot hear you. I will do what? Children of God, all nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compass me about, yea, they compass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compass me about like a bee, they are quenched as the fire of thunder. In the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, look at the word of Hashemis. Look at the word of Hashem's. In this time that we are going through, in this time of pandemic, hallelujah, Amen. what is the name that you should call? What is the name that you should call? The name of the... Lord. And that name will do what? Will save you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, number four, say with me, don't forget the power of God. I cannot hear you. Say, don't forget the power of God. Don't forget the power of God. Now look here. Psalm 62, 11. Psalm 62, 11. Oh God, we give you all the glory. Psalm 62, 11. God had spoken once, twice, if I heard this, that power belong unto Power belong unto Power belong unto Children of God Don't forget the power Of God Hallelujah Amen. Look here Psalm 78 42 Psalm 78 42 Psalm 78 42 That time you remember the Lord God Hallelujah Psalm 78 42. They remember not is. They remember not is. Nor the day when he delivered them from the. Amen. So they forgot the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. These people, they forgot the power of God. Children of God, 
When you forget the power of God, it means that you forgot about this God. I want you to remember God. I want you to remember the power of God in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, remember the power. Remember the power of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Remember his power. Nehemiah 4. Nehemiah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Power belongs to Jesus. Power belongs to Jesus. Let's read Nehemiah first. Nehemiah 1 5. Nehemiah 1 5. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Nehemiah 1 5. He said what? And say, I beseech thee, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible. Your God is how? Your God is how? Great and. Your God is how? Great and. Great and. Is also mighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember that. Remember that your God is great. Hallelujah. Amen. He is great and he is terrible. Now look here. The same Nehemiah 4 14. Nehemiah 4 14. The Bible is telling you here. And I. And I and rose up and said unto the and to the and to the rest of the people, be not ye have be afraid of why he said here, remember the remember the remember the I cannot hear you, remember the which is how and and fight for you, fight for you, fight for you, fight for you, fight for you. Why you are fighting for them? Because you know your God is great, your God is terrible, and they will get you what? Victory, hallelujah. Children of God, you fight for your marriage, you fight for your family, you fight for your job, you fight for your destiny. Why the Lord God is great and terrible, He shall give you what? Victory. Fight. Remember. Remember your God. Hallelujah. Remember your God. Remember Him. Children of God, do you remember God? Do you remember God? If you remember God, you're not going to be a crying Christian. Hallelujah. Amen. A crying Christian. In your mouth, always complaining. In your mouth, always murmuring. Hallelujah. And you call yourself a child of God. Hallelujah. Your God is how? Great and? Terrible. Great and? Terrible. terrible. We all know terrible. Hallelujah. You know last year in the month of March, when nobody was going out there, we thought that even going up there, sneeze outside, you get corona. It was so terrible, hallelujah. But your God is terrible, hallelujah. He can terrorize even your terror, hallelujah. Amen. Wherever terrorize you, God can terrorize it. Amen. To show you how great he is. Children, children of God, God is great. And don't forget the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Number five. Don't forget the wonderful deeds of the Lord. His wonders in the past. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't forget the good things. The wondrous things of the Lord God. Look what the Bible says here. Psalm 78. You know, it pains me to see. Like on the 31st. When Mr. Window has the mic, he has to beg. Anybody has a testimony? I know you must have a testimony. Anybody has a testimony? But we're just telling. We are too shy to come and testify. Hallelujah. Why? Why we are shy to testify? When you get a job, you call your friend. Oh, guess what? Oh, girl, they just hired me. But to testify in the, in, 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 the, in the congregation, we are too shy. Why? Why they have to beg you? All of us here, we have more to thank the Lord God. All of us here. 
just two weeks ago, we got 600 free. And some they are even fasting for the remaining 1,400 that you're going to get free. Don't come and say, it's our money, it's our tax ma taxpayer money. Your mother did not bore you with money. You can't make it. It's not your money they gave you. Hallelujah. Amen. But to just give thanks to God is a problem. They have to beg you. Look what the Bible says here. This shows that you don't remember God. Hallelujah. Look here. Psalm 78, 9 to 12. Psalm 78, 9 to 12. Psalm 78, 9 to 12. Look here. They say what? The children of being hard and carrying what? Bows. Turn back in the day of what? They kept not the covenant of and refused it to do what? To walk in his and forgot what is and is that he had shown marvelous things did he in the sight of the in the land of in the field of they did what? They forgot. Hallelujah. Amen. They forgot. Any time you find problem, any time you face the mountain, is not your first mountain. Yes or no? Is it your first mountain that you are facing right now? No. You face other mountains before. Who destroyed the other mountain? God. Now you forgot the power of God. Now you forgot the good things of the Lord God. They forgot the covenant and they were how? Destroyed. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, don't forget. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't forget the good things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Say with me, don't forget. Don't forget. Hallelujah. Amen. So we say here, Psalm 77. Psalm 77, 11 to 15. Psalm 77, 11 to 15. Remember God. Hallelujah. Remember God. Now look here. The Bible says what? I will remember the of the Lord. Hallelujah. Say with me. I will remember the of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy of I will meditate also of all thy and talk of thy do you do it? <laughs> Sincerely, do you do it? You do this thing? Uh-huh, now it's hard to come, hallelujah. But when we start, do you forget the bagger? Mm -hmm. No. Peter walked with him. Peter, he walked with him. Some they slept on Jesus' chest. Hallelujah. They slept on Jesus' chest. They were with him, with God himself. Flesh and blood. They walked with him. You say me? Oh. To deny you? Oh, never. <laughs> never. Me deny Never. People say, oh, he, uh, that's him. He say, no, uh, me, no. I don't even know this man. I never knew him. He, he did what? He denied him. Hallelujah. Yeah. But some of us, you don't even see, you don't even know how we look like. Children of God. He say, I will remember. Do you remember? That's the word of God today. Remember God. Remember him. Hallelujah. He say what? He say here, we start from verse 11. 11, and then he said what? Verse 12, he said, I will make it. And verse 13, he said what? Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great? A God as our God. Now answer to the question. Who is greater than your God? Who is greater than your God? Thou are the God that doest what? Thou are the God that doest I cannot hear you. It's not there. It's not there. He said, Thou art the God that doest. Thou art declared thy. 
among thy heart with thy arm, redeem thy the sons of and hallelujah. So, children of God, remember, remember the doing of the Lord God. Number six. So I'm gonna bring to them. Number six. Say with me. Remember. Let's say together. Remember, Remember where the Lord brought you from. Hallelujah. Remember where the Lord brought you from. Hallelujah. Mm, I like that. Amen. Remember where the Lord God brought you from. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, children of God, some of us, you went to the wilderness. You faced Red Sea in your life. But you did not make it on your own. Somebody helped you. Hallelujah. Amen. And that somebody is the Lord. Remember from where the Lord God brought you. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us were in this country, we are still complaining. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Or oh, even back home, we were good. So why you came here? <laughs> if you were so good over there, why you came here? Oh, we used to drink milk over there. Uh -huh. Why you came here? Hallelujah. Amen. Remember. Remember from where the Lord God took you. Hallelujah. From one pair of shoes a year. Today you can even count them. Hallelujah. Amen. From five dresses. Today you cannot count them. Children of God. Remember. Remember. Just to do your air, to do your air, it is very, you, you have to go somewhere, like 10 people has to come your air because you don't have money. But look at you today. Remember, hallelujah, you are not what you are by yourself. You are not what you are by your strength. Somebody made you who you are. Somebody brought you into this place, hallelujah. And that somebody is the Lord God. You remember that. Remember that, children of God. Remember that. You are not what you are by yourself. You are not what you are because your father had money. God gave to your father money. Every single thing is by the grace of Almighty God. I always say there are many people who deserve even to be here right now, but they are not here. Certain people who had money to get visa, they are not here. Hallelujah. Amen. But some they came here without any effort. Hallelujah. Amen. They brought them here for free. Freely. Free of such. Remember when the Lord God brought you. Hallelujah. Amen. When the Lord God brought you. Today you can work and have your own money. Remember that is the doing of the Lord God. Amen. Remember that is the doing of the Lord God. Amen. Hallelujah. Last year we were crying. Today we are wearing masks. Today we are doing okay. Remember God. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember the doing of the Lord God. Let them come with vaccine, but remember the doing of the Lord God. Always remember God. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, remember from where the Lord God brought you. Hallelujah. Now look here, Exodus 12, 42. Exodus 12, 42. Some of us, we forgot, hallelujah. You think that you came here by your strength, hallelujah. You think that you are making this life because you are so smart, hallelujah. I know people who are smart, they are struggling, hallelujah. Uh -huh. Some, they are so smart, PhD, they are struggling. Some, they are beautiful. When you look at them, they, nobody proposed to them, hallelujah. So children of God is by the grace of God. Always remember. Hallelujah. Amen. Now look here. Exodus 12, 42. Exodus 12, 42. Are you there? Amen. It is a night to be much to be much unto the Lord for bringing them out of the land of this is that night of the Lord to be how? 
of all the in the what? In the they have to do what? Observe what? The night. Why? Because it was the night that God took them out of Egypt. Hallelujah. God is telling them, remember from where you are coming from. Hallelujah. Remember that. When you remember that, it means that you remember the Lord God. Some of us, you forgot about God. Hallelujah. You forgot about Him. Now look here. Deuteronomy 5.15. Deuteronomy 5.15. Deuteronomy 5.15. Deuteronomy 5.15. Do you remember God? Yes. I cannot hear you. Do you remember God? Yes. Uh-huh. Look what the Bible says here. And ah, I love the remember. You know, we love, I know people, if I if I if I preach today, but remember me, oh God. Oh, you will love it. Hallelujah. And for the God, you remember me. Oh, you promise me. Oh, remember me. Now that you have to remember him is difficult. Now that you have to remember him is difficult. But you want him to remember. And you remind him, Father God, you, you wrote my name in the palm of your hand. Oh, Father God, you will never remember. Forget me. Mm -hmm. Now you do. You do. The Bible says what? Verse 15. And remember that that was a that was what a in the land of God is telling you now you are in the eternal land don't be like this me hallelujah remember what I brought you hallelujah bare naked David remember what I brought you keeping the sheep of your father you are smelling sheep hallelujah I'm the one who brought you in the white house always remember that hallelujah Remember that. And God is telling them here. Remember that you were a servant in the land of Egypt. And that the Lord thy God brought thee out thence through a mighty hand and by a stretch out arm. Therefore the Lord thy God commanded thee to keep what? The Sabbath day. Hallelujah. Amen. You are living for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, remember, you were a slave. Hallelujah. Children of God, I want you and I to remember that we were sinners. Hallelujah. We were dead in our sins. Always remember that. That somebody came, even though salvation is free, it cost the life of Jesus. It cost the life of the King of Kings. Always remember that. Because if you remember that, you will worship Jesus. If you remember that, you will praise him. If you remember that, you will walk worthy of his walk on the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason why, because we forgot. Hallelujah. That's how we live anyhow. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how we have even the guts to call another man my wife. Hallelujah. Amen. We have the guts to call another woman my, my, my husband. Hallelujah. The devil attack the family. Family is the first institution on earth. It wasn't the church. Hallelujah. The first institution was family. And family came from God. Now man idea. It came from God. And God idea is not a mistake. Hallelujah. It was God idea. Family, man, woman, and children. Each one of them, they have responsibility. There is a chain of command. Hallelujah. And the devil came and disrupt the family. When the family is destroyed, church is destroyed, society is destroyed, community is destroyed. Hallelujah. Every single thing is what? The family. Remember God. Hallelujah. Remember God. Hallelujah. You were what? Slave into sin. Hallelujah. Now, children of God, remember. Hallelujah. Now, I say here, that was number what? Six. Number seven, don't forget all the good things the Lord has done for you. Hallelujah. Say with me, don't forget all the good things that the Lord God has done for you. Hallelujah. That what Psalm 103, 2 say what? Praise the Lord and tell myself and forget 
and never forget the good things the Lord God has done for me. Hallelujah. Children of God, how you remember the Lord God when you don't forget the good things that the Lord God has done for you? How many of us you remember the good things the Lord God has done for you? How many do you remember? You remember them? But the devil, what the devil does is what? You have a list of the things that God did not do for you. Hallelujah. You have a long list of the things that God did not do for you. Now, today is January 24th. In these 24 days, can you testify that the Lord God has done great and mighty things for you? Yes. Hmm? Yes. I can hear you. Some of you are not even aware. I'm not sure. Do you believe that God has done great and mighty things? Yes. The breath of life that you are living, hallelujah. The strength that you have. The job that you are saying, you think that the job that you are holding is because you are cute? No. You are smart? No. You are qualified? No. People are losing the job. It's God. Hallelujah. Amen. God is doing, is the doing of the Lord God. Remember the good things the Lord God has done for you, children of God. Remember. Hallelujah. Amen. Say with me, I will, I will remember the good things the Lord God has done for me. Hallelujah. Now, are you going to testify? Ask now your neighbor. When you remember, are you going to testify now? Hmm? Are you going to testify? Hmm? Are you going to testify? I'm too shy to testify. But hear them in the parking lot. Hear them when they are talking. Hear them how, how, when they talk about shoes, they talk about sport, about gloves. Oh, and this one, they are, they are talking, they are not shy. When it comes down to say, Father, I just want to thank you. How many can even text me, Pastor, today I have a testimony. And you come here, I just want to say thank you to God. Because I'm alive. People are dying in my job place, but I'm alive. I just want to thank the Lord God. Who can come and say this? You just wait for the big thing. Then you come. <laughs> hey, what can I say? Huh? Oh, children of God. <laughs> thank the Lord. Remember. If somebody always says thank you, you will give to him. Oh, yeah. Am I lying? Mm -hmm. If somebody you give him even uh, 50 cents, oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Tomorrow you give one dollar. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. He gives you even appetite. You want to give him more. But the person you give, the person does not even respond. The person says, mm, mm, okay, mm, put over there. <laughs> and you expect me tomorrow that I will give you. No. Tomorrow I will give you. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So children of God, I say here, let's say, let uh, I give you the scripture. So uh, Deuteronomy 8, 18. Remember the Lord God. Who gives you power to get wealth? Hallelujah. Now, children of God, number eight, say with me, don't forget the mistake you have made. Say with me, don't forget, don't forget. the mistake the mistake you have made, made. or sins you, you have committed in your work with the Lord. Now, this can be contrary to what I always say, forget your past. Hallelujah. Now, here I don't say that you remember the sin because God said that when, when uh, he forgives you, he's already gone. But I want you to remember how you get into that mistake. Hallelujah. So next time, you don't repeat the same mistake. Hallelujah. So, already, so you don't repeat the same mistake. In your walk with God, why am I called today? Why things are not working for me today? Why things are not proper in my life? Why? Well, what did I do wrong? So you are aware that this time around, you will not repeat the same mistake. Hallelujah. And look the scripture here. Thank you, Jesus. Deuteronomy 9, 7 to 11. Deuteronomy 9, 7 to 11. Oh, 7 11. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 9. 7 11. Now look here. He say what? Are you there? 
Ah, they put both words in the same sentence. I love it. He said what? Re, re, and how that provoked the how that provoked the die to wrath in the from the day that did out of the land of until he came unto this place, ye have been how? Ye have been how? Against the also in order, ye provoke the Lord to so that the Lord was how? With you to have destroyed when I was gone up into the mount to receive the table of stone, even the table of the covenant, which the Lord made with you. Then I abode in the mount forty days and forty nights, and neither did eat bread nor drink for forty days and forty nights. Hallelujah. Amen. But some of us in these twenty-one days, were you eating? You have to eat, hallelujah. Were you drinking? But some it was difficult to fast. Difficult, hallelujah. So difficult. Children of God, the things of God is just instruction, hallelujah. God said, do this and you will receive. There is no magic, hallelujah. Now look here. He said what? And the Lord delivered me to table. He delivered me what? Table. Of salt. Of salt. Hallelujah. Written with the finger of God. And one of them was written according to all the word which the Lord spake with you in the month out of the midst of fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days and 49. The Lord God, you know, could continue. Now here, he said that remember and forget not that you provoke the Lord God. Hallelujah. So you know in your work with God where you fall. Hallelujah. So don't repeat the same mistake. Always remember that. Hallelujah. Some of us is because you, you open another chapter in your life. You are living a holy life. Hallelujah. You are living a righteous life. Hallelujah. Obeying God. But you open a chapter of a monkey. Hallelujah. A monkey that does not know God. Hallelujah. Do not yoke with unbeliever, but you think that you will transform him. You open that chapter and the monkey enter your life. You, you used to pray three times a day. Now you are praying only once a year. Hallelujah. Who you used to fast every month. Now you are only fast once a year. Hallelujah. Because of the chapter you open. Hallelujah. So you provoke the Lord God, yes or no? Now, when you say that, remember that past. Remember how you brought yourself so low. So next time when a monkey come, you don't open that chapter. Hallelujah. Amen. And lastly, say with me, lastly. lastly. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord God. How you remember the Lord God? You remember the Lord God when you praise yeah. Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you do what? When you praise him, you praise the Lord God when? All the time. He said, the praise shall be continually in my, the praise shall be continually in my, so let's say, let's say together, say, the praise shall continually be in my, the name of the Lord, say with me, the name of the Lord shall continually be in my heart. And in, my mouth. and in my mouth for in the name of the Lord, the of the Lord there is my hand is my in the name of the Lord there is my victory in the name of the Lord there is my deliverance in the name of the Lord there is my salvation my, my restoration my power my strength my elevation in the name of the Lord that's why I will praise his name in the morning. I will praise his name at noon. I will praise his name at night. Hallelujah. Why? Because in his name there is power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, in conclusion, say with me, I will not forget the Lord. I will not forget the Lord. I will not forget the Lord. For my help is in the name of the Lord. 
Please rise on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Don't forget the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember the... Remember the... Hallelujah. We're going to give to God. Really quick. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father.